out. Maybe they will go to something like a quest. I like the defects playstyle a lot. Ironclad is like usually the furthest thing from the kind of playstyle I like. I he he seems like he's like that whiskey Dark Souls kind of character where he's like about really losing damage, taking damage, and dealing shitload of the damage. Upgrade a card? That's not really good with the basic cards. Potions, two. I'll take the two colors. Let's see. Hey, that was. And what's the other one? Put a card. Oh, I don't really like that one. I mean, it's interesting because it makes the card cost zero. So you know, like putting a really expensive card on the bottom can be obviously useful, but. It's uh, definitely something you need a lot more foresight with. So we got... Let's see... So I'm only gonna... So if I go that one, I'll get two, three, four... So the middle woe... Middle woe we can meet four. There was no bonfires between any of them. This'll be suicidal hard mode, but fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> you want adds too vulnerable. If I can get some decent block cards, I mean, Ironclad could be interesting. That's probably his biggest problem, in my opinion, is like Silent. He doesn't really get a ton of blockage. At least normal blockage. He gets a lot of bizarro blockage. Whenever you lose HP from a card game. See, that, that goes into that kind of thing where you want, like... I, I just feel like I don't know how you really opposed to like normally recover from that. Now that was a really good. I like the last time I believe we were playing, we were doing some really good shit with this. See, this would be good if we could get actually some good block shit on him, but right now I do have some the regular block cards, obviously though. Of time, if I don't get some better ones, it's gonna be more iffy. See, that's a pretty nice card, though. Be a 
two additional damage for all of your cards contain strike. <coughs> yeah, that's a pretty good. Get a few hits, and that's gonna cost nothing. I want that one though. Getting a hand of upgraded cards is pretty good. Plus, it gives me some block, so it's a win win. Ah, fuck. Ah. That sucks. It cobbled, my friend. Probably not gonna wait getting use out of that one. down so much HP it's gonna be a miracle if I even fucking uh, even if I fucking make it strange but oh hi we meet again why well, I, I would Love to actually make use of your healing services for once. Thank you for actually being useful. Okay, we get three torns. Try to get a good hand heal. Uh, we can use it. Let's see. Let's upgrade this to put any number of cards in your hand at the bar. Oh, nice. So I can put all these on the bottom and they'll be free. Dang, that's pretty interesting. <laughs> now that, like, hell, I might even just upgrade that. Like, that that seems, like, really useful, actually. <laughs> Not sure if that'll wake him up. I think if you break the shield, it wakes him up. Yeah, I could add to that and do that. Use one more. <laughs> Good blocker now.
Oh wait, I should have actually used that. Go ahead. I'm going to use that at the beginning since he's going to do that. Yeah, you know, I didn't realize the upgrade of that like that, like that has a lot of different potential. Like making that that could make a whole fucking hand fucking just flee. Like in the white situation, that could be really really good. So what the next hand gives me? So will sleep this one and wake up the next one. Let's see what I get for the last hand. So, I can make it all the way to where I get the free hand. I think it's probably better to start with the, the one defense round, though, I think. Kind of weird the glitch, uh, that card glitches in the corner there. be fighting a lot of leets and I need to try save everything I can Too bad so far. See, if he wasn't attacking, it'd be nice. <laughs> Still taking less damage though, so it's still walking out Bill.
six. And get some good tech cards and finish them off. And I'm gonna need some good ones because. Oh, damn it. Oh, he's severely weakening me. <laughs> Play three. Hey, that's not bad. Strength. <clears throat> oh yeah, those waves were nice. could have that fully upgraded though. <laughs> if only light. This is a splitting one, right? Yeah. He's gonna split. Fuck up my blocking, didn't it? That's one out of the way. That will make it that far, but... Yeah, well, you gotta try and make a small deck. That's why I really need to try. I keep saying it, but I keep not doing it. Ooh. And there's that one. So, I could either go off course and miss every elite. Uh, I, mean, I could at least fight this one elite, and if it goes really bad... 
Oh, this is gonna be whiskey. Comes all the fucking days. some out of them before I finish that one off. fucking close to being dead. I got so many fucking dazed cards in my deck now. Okay, I got lucky on that. So much fucking days, son of a bitch. So I need two more days than my corn deck. Cards. And I got two more elites. Only four health. Son of a bitch. Oh my guys, it's so fucking close to being dead. I like how I just automatically did that, actually. Oh my goodness, the fucking days gods! The fuck, man! Oh, I'm so dead. I'm so 
so dead. That do you just cause zero? Ooh, the pen. Ooh. Hmm. Straight out two energy. Well, blockage too. Energy is good too, though. I mean, basically, you use one energy to get one extra energy. But hey, energy is energy. Hey, right, we're getting the magic box. Ah, damn it! Enemies with vulnerable take. Oh man, that's pretty fucking nice, actually. <laughs> damn it! Why does it keep attaching it to good shit? Now, do I want to? Try and take on two elites with 36 HP, or just go the safe route and heal. <laughs> I don't think there's a lot of chance of me fucking surviving two elites with no healing. Two elites, a random fight, and two question marks that could be fights. Honestly, like, realistically, I'm just going to have to pass them up. It's it's not going to walk. Ooh, a lot of little slimes. Where's one of those hit-all things when I need one? Next one, we need to knock some more of these fuckers out. Okay. Ooh! Hey, that's a perfect time for this baby. Suck it out, and thank you. Thank you very much. And three damage, so we can use that to finish you off. Out. Yeah, I actually should have did that one actually. Attack is doubled. Ooh, little group of imps. Hey, but another opportunity to heal, though. So I can't really complain.
that charging one to be killed. Because he's going to... Yeah, he's going to do like a big thing here. Yep. He needs to die. That'll be the weakest one, so he's about to go with him. So basically that's forcing me to use that, but that's 10 blocks, so that's not too bad. We got for sale, my friend. Three times, that's... That can be useful. And play with... That can be useful for groups, but in a one-on-one -on -one situation, it's not going to be as useful. Like I said, I might want to actually try and keep a smaller deck, honestly. Like I said, I might want to actually try to do that. Question marks and we're good. Wait a card. Let's 
socks. Oh, I can uh, I could upgrade this. That could be nice. That makes that cost zero. That's actually pretty nice too. That doesn't make it avoid being discarded. I'm gonna upgrade that one. That one I feel like has a lot of interesting potential upgraded. They're gonna really haunt my fucking attack. That's gonna suck. Kills that one now. And that one I'll take damage for hitting me. Oh, they're fucking screwing up my shit real bad. damage put the card from your discard pal on top of your draw pal so I can get a card back feed deal 10 damage if this kills a non minion enemy raise your max HP Ooh, we've gotten that before I like that that could be very very nice Let's go, bitch! The only way I got in that card for us to be fantastic kill you over them. Ooh, and I got no blockage for this. This might be really risque, but obviously I get full heal after, so why not take the initial hit? We're gonna have a whole free thing coming up at the end, and I can use that to really deal some good ass damage. Probably getting it, but why not? Oh. 
Do they stay at zero? Not sure. Kind of sucks because basically I don't get any actual use to that. Let's see. Probably doesn't. No, it looks like it stayed at zero. Nice. Oh wait, I was... ah, fuck. I forgot I could play those. Ooh, toasty. I love to actually get to use that. Got a double attack coming up next. Oh my god. defense. Yeah. Oh, I really want to get that used on it. <laughs> use of it, finally. Uh, we're gonna need to get this going here soon now.
I can get some good attack cards next. Weird how that glitches. Yeah, we gotta get this elbow. His strength is getting out of control here. Oh shit, that's gonna deal. Oh no! Gone. <laughs> Inconceivable. Did two really whiskey ones though. This fight's so much harder to play the two of them. I just really wish could fucking like I really feel like my wait like, what I really need to do is focus on a small deck get really powerful cards I mean try I'm going I'm gonna go into this I'm probably not gonna get super far into it but I'm going to go into this with a mindset getting really good cards and getting with shit like I'm gonna only focus on a few cards. What's a map look like? Well, I can get a free elite there. So, I'm able to get one as long as the question marks don't turn into one. All my gold right now for a random relic. Hmm. These two both. Yeah, if I can get... That free. Mm, that also becomes free. Let's do the free lightning.
Damn it! It's a combat encounter. Fuck. Bastard. We don't get free elite. Bad forced guy to one into. That's so good. Oh man, that hurt. That hurt a lot. If I can survive one more encounter, I can go heal. We got Squiddle. Pretty much dead. Bad start for him. Pretty much dead. He's dead before he even begun. If only I could have made it to the fucking elite. 
We would have been fine, but no, it was like, hey, guess what? Random event is a battle. Fuck you for your leap. <laughs> Pretty much just putting a band-aid on a wound. Unless I really find something really sp spectacular. Oh, I wanted to... No, I meant to take the key. Dad damn it. Interesting. So you could like have a really high ass card just for the sole purpose of using it as energy. Interesting. Oh boy. All directions lead to pain. Not this thing. I can't whisk that. Oh, I'm super likely screwed here. Oh, shit. I am so dead. So, so fucking dead. That's the first time I've actually lost on a non-hot one. Like, I mean, like, as the, like, n uh, not lost on the, not being on the floor of the hot side. 
as the defective in like a really long time. <laughs> that that gave me a really shitty beginning now. Ages. Now if I can get some encounters, but non-encounters on those, I can get that elite to be one HP. That's freebie. Hmm. I'll take it. But doing all right. I got. It's just 7 HP. How are you doing today? This is... I don't think we've seen this one before. You walk by an eerie statue holding several masks. Something behind you softly whispers, Stop. You swerve around to face the statue, which is now facing you. On closer expect uh, inspectation, it's not a statue, but a statue. statue stat is it? A grunt man. Is he even breathing? Face. Let me touch. Maybe trade? Touch? 7 HP. Trade fifty percent good face, fifty percent bad face. For me, for me, oh yes, mmm. You see, one of his arms flicker, and your face is in its hand. Your face has been swapped. Nice face, nice face. At the end of combat, weighs your max HP by one. Ooh, I mean that's not amazing, amazing, but you know you could probably get about. 10 to 15 free max HP that way. That's pretty interesting. Okay, we got a combat. Next one better not be a fucking combat. I'll be pissed. Down. At the end of your turn, gain one week. Hmm. But a lot of money I can use at a shop. One week sucks ass. Nah, nah. <laughs> God damn it, it was another fucking encounter. Oh, wait. Oh, no, 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 it was a uh, number. Uh, um, it's elite. Wait, I, I had a brain fall. Don't mind. Uh, oh, my goodness, my brain. Don't mind me. Yeah, no, no, everything's good, everything's good. We got free elite, yes. First time you lose HP each combat, draw three cards. Interesting. Yeah, that's a, that's a really nice one if you can pull that off. Okay. Now the wheel game begins.
Mm, see, that one's a good one for big, big dicks. Hmm. I mean, if I can focus on freebie cards, a few draw cards. Like, focus on a few powerful cards, a few draw cards, and zero cards. I think should be, like, the general idea I want to go with. Oh boy, it's the big boy. Big boy. The shitty thing is if I don't use it, it's gone. If I use it, it's wasted. So it's a lose-lose either way. So I didn't even get any good cards. Where's Sucky forced wound? That's a die faster. Oh wait, I thought that said a tunnel, not exhaust. I I completely missaw that. So that evens out. That's fine. Don't work with that. Almost. Next round should be able to definitely kill him. Oh yeah, he needs to die super bad. <laughs> so each combat play of all enemies. Whenever you would deal four or less unblocked damage, increase it to five. Uh, oh. Key. Get the boots that crazy. We'll use three. Ooh, that's nice. I got rid of that, so that's a nice start on that. You have the least HP out of the two on Elder Whim. You know how that was. That's basically what I did during the whole Christmas thing. That was pretty much my whole Christmas thing. Oh man. Number of most of those days I was staying up to like fucking 3 a.m. in the morning, passing out, missing the walkout, and waking up and walking on the video some more. <laughs> Block the damage. I mean, it's just a slow whittling down. But obviously, the sooner I kill one of them, the least amount of a problem they're gonna be. Yeah, like basically the big problem that happened during that is somebody kept wanting their video. Like, they kept adding to their part of it. And I mean, it turned out really nice, but like. They just kept wanting to add and add and add. Like, like I said, the idea was we were going to finish it on Wednesday. 
and then have it tested and everything. But literally, I kept having the Wii window like. The problem is. So it was about an hour long video. When doing it took about two hours, and then uploading it took about three hours. So every time I kept needing to do a change, it basically took an, like five hours to do it all. No, I don't. Don't take this the wrong way. Like, the. I understand what they were adding and why like it looks so nice and everything but the the, the wheel the realistic problem was we were like two days from Christmas and we wanted that time to ensure that everything was gonna work and stuff all the way to Christmas Eve I was redoing the video multiple times each day and I spent basically Christmas Eve getting it uploaded to the server and then testing it. And I'm not trying to throw shade at the person who did this or that, but they did they did make the whole thing really stressful, but I mean, yeah, that, that's what I'm saying, like, um, like, I, I get the whole th like, they wanted it to be very meaningful and everything, and that's all cool and everything. It's just, realistically, we also want to ensure we can even do it. <laughs> so, like, it was getting to the point where it was starting to look like it was going to be even really close at having it be their period. <laughs> That one's out of the way. You know, face punched in though. But yeah. Start with an attack card. And I guess that works as a zero card, so. That's a pretty nice card, though. Mm -hmm. You go that way, take a U-turn, get a bonfire in that other elite. But yeah, like... It's not the end of the world, I just, they, like, they just made the whole thing really stressful compared to everything else. That is very nice, though. But I did all the changes they won, took all the time. That was, like, who knows how many days I probably wasted, like, four days just redoing it over and over again. And that, that was pretty stressful and knowing on my own free time. In the server? Oh, by server I meant like, so Laix's videos are hosted on a server. There's YouTube links and server links. So for the, the plan we did, we had to replace one that was on the server. It was going to be the Christmas one she was going to plan on using. So we we pasted the normal Christmas workout with the surprise one. So that that's what I meant when I said silver. So like I had to talk to Cordis like Christmas Eve to I had to give him the video. Then he uh, he compressed it to a reasonable sense and then put it in the silver. So, uh, the additional slots would be really nice. <laughs> and yeah, I was afraid that was just going to be a little under trying to remove a card.
Uh, yeah, some people who did talk don't usually talk too often. Been a long time since Titanium's talk. Titanium used to actually stream. This is gonna be a pretty crazy ass one here. Could take that to help with blocking. Yeah, titanium used to stream and everything, so, like, hearing Titanium wasn't new at all for me. But yeah, Titanium put a lot of work in their video. It was a very nice video. So I can do that, and it should stay asleep? Yeah, as long as the shield doesn't get taken down. That's a fish. Uh, Ooh, draw him. Oh, I can uh, carry that over. Uh, she did stream on Christmas. I don't know if she, um, if she, uh, continued streaming after that. I don't know. Lots of stuff here. Let's see, oh, <laughs> draw power is empty, so I, I don't think I'll use it because I, I don't, I won't have any energy to use it anyway. Ability. It's almost dead. But yeah, I'm glad you liked it, the video. Leo actually uh, did a few more touches on it and uploaded a version with a few more fixes. Like, one of the things... One of the things I wish I had more time to do was to focus more on the audio balance. But, I mean, I spent like four days redoing the whole fucking video for um, someone else's editions. Like, and they were really nice, like I said. It's just, realistically, I would have liked it to spend more of that time, like, getting everything else adjusted. 
Like, I, I still remember Christmas Eve walkout. And, like, woke up, you know, did that. Was going to get everything tested out and stuff. And then being told they had another addition to it. I literally remember, like, my heart sinking. Just... Because it's like, so I was going to spend five hours of Christmas Eve redoing the whole video, two hours rendering it, not counting the time of putting it into the time slot area it was, and, um... Yeah, I'm not going to get enough damage now. I don't know why anything will finish out here. Uh, well, it wasn't my place to say that. Because it wasn't, like, the project was Leo's project. So, the problem was Leo, like, promised them to get done that, so... So I was just, like, I kind of grit my teeth and like, eh. But I did, I did tell Leo that, um, anything after that, it, it just had to realistically be no. Like, I mean, it's literally one day. Like, we, we had no more time. Like, it, it, like, the deadline, everyone, everyone was told Wednesday was the deadline. So, like, anyway, no enemy combat's no longer encountered in A. Like that, and we'll key. But yeah, like that—that that was pretty much like the problem in that regard. But, yeah, it wasn't my project. Like I said, I did about, like, 85-90% of the editing. Like, like I said, Pac-Man and Titanium basically are the only two that really did most of the editing on their own. Everything else was... Basically... When it came to the, the walkout stuff, I recorded pretty much everything else and put together with some of them more green screen effects and some of them more like originally Leo wanted to put the backdrop of every instructor we were mimicking like say like I did Billy so he wanted to have like Billy's gym in the background but like I told him the problem I see like I like the idea but the problem I see with the idea is that good luck finding a picture that has nobody in it. <laughs> like that that was pretty much the problem because like it was good it would have been really hard to find a picture of each instructor's workout without anyone in it for like a second. Like that's all we would need is just a second of no one in it, but you're likely not gonna find that and that's what kinda ended up being the problem, so that's why the only recordings we did were green screen, but basically, I believe Body Project was the only one we got a background for, and all the others we uh, opted for like Christmassy backgrounds. Like mine, we did a Christmas war with a Christmas tree in the background. <laughs> My driveway is full of walks, so I wouldn't think it'd be so comfortable in the shoes. <laughs> Oh, this thief needs to die. He's gonna run away with my fucking money. He's gonna run away with my money!
him. Yeah, there we go. We'll be able to definitely kill him. Yeah, definitely take some bad hits though here. But yeah, like uh, some of the later parts of the walkout we did, uh, we just kind of dropped the green screen aspect because it became obvious that we weren't going to really be able to find a background of each person's area without people in it. So, so the last several we did, we just uh, did within worlds. Oh, you're, you're fine, man. Take it easy. Have a good day. It's all cool. Enjoy your day. It's a Saturday with VR dancing later today. It's going to be a very nerve-wracking day for me. Uh, I'm very cold feet right now. <laughs> uh, I shouldn't have even mentioned that. Now I'm, I'm giving myself super cold feet now. Oh, dear. <laughs> But yeah, you're welcome to, like, Discord message and stuff. I like to think I'm pretty... <laughs> oh, I got super cold feet for today's dancing session. Like... Because <laughs> it's, uh, it's my playlist. I, I made the playlist for today. Uh, and it's, um... I went from having a lot of fun and confidence in the idea to, oh my gosh, what everyone hates it or thinks it's cringy and weird or stupid. Oh my gosh, the cold feet. Because just, just between you all and me, uh, well, I, I, in the initial intro, which doesn't last very long as being normal, claims that it's going to be a normal boring list. It's not a normal boring list. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm really nervous about it because, um, so I made two dances. And they all completely... Ah, uh, well, I, I don't know, like, in a funny cringe, but I mean, like, this is... I, I don't think VR dancing finds being funny cringe during the, the, the dance. And, like, they're not supposed to be necessarily funny. They're supposed to be kind of, like... I... So, what I did is... I've always had this idea... This is just between you all and me. So I've always had this idea, what what if, like, VRD had, like, some kind of villain, some kind of antagonist against them? And that's kind of the idea. So, my dances are, like, a mixed idea of a gamification of a dance. So I used it in music video games. I picked it some songs that I wanted to use. And I made freestyle dance battles out of them with their duos. So basically, there's a villain killer and a non villain killer in the boss fights. They're duo dances. And it's supposed to be a mix of like free dancing slash combat. So, honestly, I was really nervous that I was gonna be told, like, no, 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 no. But nobody said anything when I submitted them. Nobody said no to them, so... So, I, I guess it was considered okay. Step it up, y'all. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you the, the secrets, so... Um... So, the first one's gonna be a Gitaru Man dance. So, Gitaru Man was a PS2 musical game. It was also poured to the PSP, so I picked one of my favorite songs from that, and did a duo dance. And then I picked did a Kingdom of Hearts. Oh, I I have no, I don't know the movie. Step it up, so I have no idea that went off my head. Whoop! Don't know jack shit about that. 
Don't know a damn thing about that one. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Or, we could drink this, use this, and add this to the fray! Zap the zap zap! Don't go back! Ah, uh, yeah. That whole thing. Got to do one damage. Ah, uh, maybe. Oh no, I just got Chapman's thing. Oh, <laughs> Chapman's adding to the... <laughs> Chapman put Atticus MJ the heretic has prepared this week's playlist. Nothing to worry about. Don't worry. Totally a normal one. <laughs> See, I would, I would assume they watched it. I would, I would think. <laughs> I was really like, I really thought someone on the staff would say, no, no, these, no, uh, uh, no, 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 totally not gonna work. <laughs> I mean, maybe I am. It's just, <laughs> maybe it will. I, I don't know. It's just. It's something very different. So, like, basically my break videos are, like, a story of villains trying to, like, basically hijack the dance. And, like, if people like the idea, like, I got an idea for, like, a story and lore and stuff going forward in future playlists of mine. If people enjoy it, but if people don't like it, I probably will just stick to something more normal. <laughs> but initially, I had even higher ambitions about it, though, because like originally, I actually was gonna have someone fake being the host. So like the idea was, I was gonna have someone make a fake portion of the intro and have it get hijacked, like in the new intro I did. <laughs> well, I, 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 I'm told I, I do put a little bit of passion into acting. <laughs> I never really considered myself any good at acting, but, um, like, when we do, um, what is it, uh, Audience Anarchy? Like, I've had a lot of people say, like, oh, man, you're really good at this. Like, which is really surprising to me, to be quite honest. Here we go. Triggered him into that again. So right now he's gonna do three. That's all good. Alright, I'll keep that in mind, man. But, uh, yeah, it'll be interesting. So, essentially, like, the idea is there'll be, like, a, a normal section that's being considered a warm-up, and then there'll be a section that's one boss, and another section that's another boss. And, like, basically you have intro, warm-up, break video, introducing some plot boss, then you'll have a few dances, boss fight, Break video, introducing some more story, introducing the next boss, some dances, then boss fight, and then uh, a final uh, little break video with a few uh, few uh, usual made dances that ended off. <laughs> um, 
initially there was a lot more I wanted to do. Like I I started this project in November. And obviously because of all the projects in December. Lakes's Christmas supplies and uh Browser's birthday supplies. Um my December put it on the back burner. And you know, I, I really feel bad in a way, because, like, the second boss fight, I feel... You, you ever, like, make a video and you're like, ah, oh, I, do, I don't like how that turned out. Like, like that's how, like, the second boss... Like, I I feel pretty okay about the first boss fight one I made. The, the second one, I just feel way more... You know, about... I don't feel it, like it's as good. But, you know, Optinihilist, uh, when I submitted, uh, the second one, like, he said, man, this brings back such nostalgic memories, so I'm like... So, like, so far, like, people who have gone to see it seem to be reacting positively to it, but... Yeah, it's just, uh, pretty nerve-wracking for me. It's pretty nerve-wracking for me. <laughs> Man, that one claw is just getting up there and damage. You know, maybe there's something to this whole keeping my hand small after all. I mean, look at it. Now it's, it's a zero card that deals 21 damage now. <laughs> ha! You think you'll... Your puny shield can stop me! <laughs> okay. But yeah, after this boss fight though, uh, I am gonna be ending the stream because I gotta go charge my trackers and stuff. I gotta go plug them in. What do we got? Ooh, some. Five? Ooh, shit. That's pretty nice plasms, though, but damn, five energy. That's hard. Hmm, that's pretty neat. <laughs> yeah, I usually end around one because the, the EU dance starts at two on Saturdays in my time. Gain energy at start of turn. All enemies start combat with one strength. Ooh, I think I'll take that. I think one strength for one energy is not necessarily that horrible of a price. I think I could live with that. 